All right, guys. We're working on the Tom Sellers coupe. Today we're gonna work on the generator. There is a lot of question on the generator and the cutout. Get over here on this side, I'll show you. The cutout on the generator and what it does and how it works. And there's also an adjustment on your generator. Usually, if it's a three brush generator, there's an adjustment on there to help you get more amps out of the generating side of it, part of it, whatever you want to call it. Um, today I'm going to adjust my generator to where it puts out more amps and I'm going to show you how this cutoff works and what it does. It's not just magic inside, I guarantee you. But I'm going to show you how it works, so let's get started. The cutout, most people don't even realize what it does. It cuts it out. That's exactly what it does. It's, there's no magic smoke inside, although you probably can let the magic smoke out and never get it back in, but it's not really magic like you would think it is. It's all it does is when this thing starts spinning, when the motor fires up and this generator starts spinning, it makes a contact, which allows the juice coming from the generator to go back to the battery. I have my battery back behind the seat there, so I've got it plumbed in that way. That's how the generator works. Then when it turns off, it releases and opens up and it doesn't make contact anymore and that keeps your battery from discharging because it will discharge if that sticks and holds closed it, it'll discharge now it's just like a points uh, in your distributor it's just exactly like that so it's got two little disc discs that come down and touch each other just like that and you can clean them off and, and sand them just like points on a generator so Let's, uh, let's pull this cap off and I'll get you in there closer so you can see it. This cutout, for whatever reason, says Delco Remy on it. And this is the, I believe this was the generator that was on the motor when we found it uh, in the back of that guy's truck going down the highway. And I didn't do anything to it. It had a chrome fan on it. And I just trimmed the fan to fit my, my radiator there. Somebody had worked on that radiator and taken out the, uh, the trough for the fan. So. Okay, let's get you in there so you can see it. Okay, this is the cut out the inside down it actually looks really nice and clean I've had it open once before but that's pretty simple right here is your two contacts right there and when you fire up the engine this has got a magnetic coil in here that comes on and pulls that down just like that it makes contact so I pull it put it down and now it's making contact and now it's draining my battery actually so I'm gonna pull that apart now the adjustment here in between these two contacts can be set right here that little arm you can bend that arm down and make it closer and you want about 20 thousandths here between your contacts so pretty simple stuff i mean it's nothing really major the generator starts generating juice comes out of this wire goes to the coil here makes contact comes back out here on this one and goes to my amp gauge and then from there it goes on back to the battery so it's pretty straightforward there's not really any magic to it if it's rusty in here you probably want to swap it out and they do make some other ones that are electronic that aren't the magnetic ones i like this one it works i'm not going to change it so it's going to stay just like that that's the one that came on the motor so i'm going to use it and it works fine there's nothing wrong with it so that's pretty much all there is um, you can adjust the depth here between the plate and the top of this coil and that really needs to be set at about 15 thousand so this one has a couple of screws here for adjustments that slide up and down and then you can make your your final adjustment there with that little arm by bending it to get that down to 20 thousandths on that contact so pretty easy pretty straightforward there's some other ones uh, Ford actually used like a, a round one. They use a round, and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's look at it real quick. Here's 
here's the actual bottom of the cutout. Somebody's already taken the cover off of this one. And you can see right there, there's a spot weld. And let's see, looks like, looks like right there's a spot weld. You can barely see it right in there. But all you need to do is you can just grind that flat and pop that off. You're not going to hurt it. These come out. There's a little insulator. This is a screw here. That's your contact. And then that's the insulator that keeps that make, from making contact to the case. So, pretty simple stuff. Your incoming, in case you take this off and you don't know how, which way it goes on, the screw that's closest to the tabs here is going to be your incoming from your generator wire. The furthest one away, which you can see there, it's from the furthest away, that's going to be your outgoing to your amp gauge. So, once you get those tacks ground off and you can pop that cover off, it's going to look just like that. That's going to be pretty much what it looks like in there. It's going to have the same coil. It's going to have the contact there. You can see it. It's got contact. And then you'll have your... Uh, it's got another little tiny wire right on the side there, which you can't hardly see it. Let's see if we can get you over there. There's a little tiny. There's a little tiny wire right there on the side. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see where it's soldered. Sometimes those will come un undone that needs to be connected there to that solder joint and then you have another one right here on the front that needs to be connected but those are pretty straightforward just slick them up with some 400 or 600 grit sandpaper and you should be able to tell once you fire up the motor it'll, you'll be able to tell real quick if that's working because if you leave that cover off and you fire up the motor that little deal is going to make contact just like that. It's going to go boop. So, that will only mean that this is working. And it's getting some kind of juice through here to make that coil pull, that magnetic coil. Now, that doesn't mean that you're getting full 6 volts or full 12 volts, whatever your generator is, out of that generator. That only means your cutout's working. So, Hope that, uh, hope that helps you guys a little bit with the cutout and what it does. It's pretty simple. You can get these from 3rd Gen Auto. Um, I think Bob Drake has them also. I found this one at Swap Meet, and this one, I haven't taken it apart. I'm hoping. Most of the time, these don't go bad unless they've just been in the water. And with that cover on there, it can't really get a whole lot of water in there unless, unless these connections are open here to where it can you know, seep in there somehow. So I'm hoping this one works and I'm pretty sure it probably does. All right, I'm gonna fire the motor up and we're gonna see if we can see that make contact. Fire in a hole. I can see it. It's making contact right now. See it open back up? It's not making contact in there now. Let's see if we can get in there tighter. See, you can see it right through there. That's where it makes contact at, right there on that coil. And now that it's not spinning, it's not making contact. So when you fire it up, then that's when it makes contact and the juice, the juice starts going through the wire there. Let's see if we can catch that. So that's how that works right there. That's the uh, magic cutoff. So now you know what a cutoff does. Nothing nothing crazy about it. It's pretty simple. So pretty easy to work on. Now that you know how it works, you can fix it yourself if you have one that's not working correctly.
So now let's try to adjust this uh, generator. Okay, now that we know that our cutoff is working great, let's put the cap back on it. And we'll, uh, we'll adjust that generator and I'll show you guys the difference it will make. So a lot of the early Ford sure my key was off sorry about that if you leave the key on with the e-fire down there it'll burn it up so you gotta make sure you turn it off but a lot of the early Ford generators are a three brush there are some two brush ones which are non adjustable but I'm gonna show you guys here on this we're gonna pull this cover off so you're gonna pull that little cover off right there And then I'm going to show you. This. Okay, you can see right in here, there's a brush. There's one on the opposite side. Let's go around there. There's one right down there in the bottom. And this is the third brush. This is That's the adjustable brush right there. You can watch. I don't know if we can see. Yeah, you can see it. You can see how it well you can't really see it in there but you see how it's movable you can adjust that and you can move it down on the uh, generator further and it will change the amperage so let's uh i'll adjust it and i'm going to show you guys the amp gauge and you can watch the amp gauge okay i've got this one is about halfway I adjusted it the other day because it was it was all the way up there like that. Can you see that? It's all the way at the top. That's where mine was sitting at. Now let me fire it up and I'll show you what the amps the amps say. Here's my amp gauge. You can see it's sitting on zero. Let's let's fire it up here. See, it's not charging much. It's just barely over the line. You can barely see it. See it move there. Okay. Now, let's adjust that back down. Let's move it on down. Move that on down there. Actually, move that back just a little bit. So now that I've adjusted, I've adjusted past where I had it at. It was up here. Now it's like almost probably a little over halfway down. Let's see what the what the amp gauge says when we start it now. All right, here we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Now you can see it's up some more. So that's going to about about 15 when you rev it, but it's only running at about 10 right now. Maybe a little less. See when I turn my headlights on, then it pulls it way down. So, let's see what goes on when we adjust that on farther down. So, let's get that on down in there further. Let's Let's just take it all the way, see what it does. You never know, it might work better. I'm having a little issue right now with uh, it not really charging as much as I want. And then when you turn the headlights on, you know, you saw it drop down there on the on the gauge. So I'm really wanting it to, really want it to kick on up to about 20. If I can get it to 20 amps, that'd be perfect. And then when I pull the headlights on, then that's gonna keep it charging my battery. Let's see what we got here. 
Didn't really change it much. That's a lot better. That's a lot better because that means going down the road. That means going down the road, I'm going to be in the 20 amp range. So, I think I'm going to run it. Run it there for a little while and see what it does. But that's your adjustment. That's how you get more amps out. The very lowest setting there was only like maybe 3 amps. Which was not enough really to charge. It's kind of like the difference between a trickle charge, a turtle, and a you know rabbit charge or a fast charge. So, and I want it up a little bit higher. That way I can still run my headlights and not drain my battery down going down the road. So there you go, guys. That's it. That's the magic sauce for the generator. That's how you adjust your generator and how you check your, um, your cutoff. So I think I'm fixing to, fixing to hop in and take it to dinner. So we're going to do a little bit of live testing, testing tune. So anyway, we'll throw the cover back on there and we'll get going. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. See you later.